Hi, this is Kanna Babu. In this video, I will discuss about how to display the MP maximum salary of an employee in SQL Server. So, here let us consider that I have one table with name EMP under sample DB. Here, now, for example, I want to write a query to display the maximum salary of an employee. So, let us see here, this is my table. Select star from EMP. So, these are the records from employee table. I want to display the maximum salary of an employee. Select max of salary from EMP. So it will display the maximum salary of an employee that is 25,000. Is it clear? Now I want to write a query to display the second maximum salary of an employee. So how to write? I will use subqueries here. So subquery means query inside another query. So here I will write the query something like this. Select max of salary from EMP where salary less than select max of salary from em so this is my subquery always whenever you are working with subquery the inner query will get executed first and the result of the inner query was given to the next highest query so here what is the inner query select max of salary from em so the result of the inner query is 25000 now read the outer query select max of salary from em where salary less than 25000 that is 24,000. So this query will give the second maximum salary of an employee. Now if I ask you, write a query to display the third maximum salary of an employee. So I will write the query like this. Select max of salary from EMP where salary less than, here I will write. This is my subquery. So I have written three select comments in a single subquery. First of all, the inner query will get executed. The result of the inner query is 25,000. And next, the result of the inner query was given to the next highest query. That is 24,000. And uh, now read the outer query. Select max of salary from EMP where salary less than 24,000. That is 23,000. This query will give the third maximum salary. But mostly in interviews, they will ask you, the interviewer may ask you that, write a query to display the fifth max salary or 10th max cell or 100th max cell so we cannot write those many select comments in that scenario we will use some other concept so actually this is my emp table i will apply a concept of self join here so here if you observe clearly i will give two alias names self join means what joining the table by itself is called self join so i'll give two alias names for the same table the name i will try to give as what one is e table other one is f table so here I will write the query something like this. I will use subquery with self join. So let us see here. Select count of star from EMPF where E dot salary less than or equals to F dot salary. That is my inner query. And the outer query I will write select salary from EMPE where 5 is equals to. So it will give us our fifth max cell if i here five represents the number n if you want third max cell give three four something like that fourth max cell so how the query will execute that will play the major role here so we already know always in subquery the inner query will get what executed the result of the inner query given to the next highest query so here let us assume this is my inner query is it clear so how this inner query will execute i will write the same query in another manner something like this if e dot salary less than f dot salary, then I want to execute this query. Is it clear? So here if you observe, e dot salary is 20,000, f dot salary is 20,000. So 20,000 less than 20,000, uh, less than or equals 20,000. Condition is true, so the count is 1. Next, 20,000 less than or equals to 21,000. Is it clear? 20,000 less than or equals to 21,000. Condition is what? True. So the count is what? 1. Next, 20,000 less than or equals to 22,000. Condition is what? True. So the count is 1. 20,000 less than or equals to 23,000. Condition is true. Count is what? 1. 20,000 less than or equals to 24,000. Condition is true. Count is what? 1. 20,000 less than or equals to 25,000. Condition is true. 
count is what one so the total count is how much six so it will give us which salary sixth max salary is it clear but i want so the result of the inner query is six so the result of the inner query was given to the next highest query so here select salary from empe where five is equal to six condition is false so twenty thousand is not fifth max salary now you compare with twenty one thousand twenty one thousand less than or equals to twenty thousand twenty one thousand less than or equals to twenty thousand condition is what false so the count is what here zero next twenty one thousand less than or equals twenty one thousand condition is true count is one next twenty one thousand less than or equals to twenty two thousand condition is what twenty one thousand less than or equals to Twenty-two thousand condition is true. Count is what one. Similarly, twenty-one less than equals twenty-three, twenty-four, and twenty-five. So the total count is how much? Five. So the result of the inner query is what? Five. Is it clear? So the result of the inner query was given to the next highest square. So select salary from EMPE where five is equals to five. Condition is true. So twenty-one thousand select salary from EMPE that is what twenty-one thousand. That is the fifth max sir. If you want, you execute the same query here, and you can check how that query is working. Is it clear? Let us see. So now this is my query. It will display the fifth max cell, twenty-one thousand. Let us see what is the first max cell, twenty-five thousand. Second max cell, twenty-four thousand. Third max cell, twenty-three thousand. Fourth max cell, twenty-four two thousand. Fifth max cell. Twenty-one thousand. Sixth max cell twenty thousand. So my query is working for any type of salary. This is the query for any max cell. Now immediately after writing this query, the interviewer will ask you. He will insert some other data. For example, I will insert some other data. Something like seven. Some uh, um, Joseph. And here I will write Josie. Something like salary. I will give twenty-three thousand. Next, I'll give eight. I'll give Rosie. I'll give the salary twenty-two thousand. And here I'll give nine. I'll give um, Umar. I'll give the salary twenty-three thousand. Uh, Something like this. Then I'll give uh, Omar twenty-two thousand. Something like this. Now let us see whether our query will work when duplicate values are exist in the column. Let us. So now let us uh, check here. Uh, first max cell that is twenty five thousand. Second max cell that is twenty four thousand. Third max cell that is not working. Fourth max cell not working. Fifth max cell not working. My query is not working when duplicate records exist in my column. So what I will do? I'll just modify with a distinct keyword. Select a distinct distinct of salary. I will write. Select a distinct of e dot salary. What is the use of distinct means? Distinct will consider the common set of values in the column as single value. Similarly, here also let select count of distinct f dot salary f dot salary. Now let us see here. Let us uh, check whether our query is working or not. First max cell, second max cell, third max cell, fourth max cell, fifth max cell. Yes, it is working. So, what distinct will do? Distinct will consider the duplicate values as single value. Distinct will consider. It will consider uh, 23, 23 as 123, 22. It will consider as uh, single value. That is the use of distinct keyword. But actually, whenever you try to execute this query, performance-wise, this performance cost is more when you try to execute this query, because each row of left table will join with every row of what. Right table, so uh, it is not recommended to use this self-join query when you try to execute this query. So there is some other way how to display the nth maximum salary of an employee. So in the next video, I will discuss about how to display the nth maximum salary of an employee by using top function. For more videos, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and Facebook group. Thank you. Have a nice day.